The goal here is to mount the LCD screen in the center panel of the, the speaker panel. Uh, so I'm just doing this video just to think through uh, the process of what's involved to mount it securely, um, being obviously careful with it, but uh, it has to be secure. So this is the, the, the screen kind of in position. Just uh, I need to secure it to this board. Here's what I'm thinking. I've got some um, mirror clamps, uh, these, these little plastic things here. I'm thinking I could put two on either side and then I'd like to do one on the bottom. I just don't have the room on the bottom. I think four should be enough. I'm thinking I could put in some of these T-nuts and then simply screw through. So once the T-nut is in, obviously this would go in, uh, but I think I'd need some washers. And then, uh, and then the length of the screw, obviously, I can't go and I'll use this little, this cool little thing. So that works out my screw. I did this before. It's about 0.8 of an inch. So I'd need three quarter inch screws, pan head, um, machine screws. So that's what I'm thinking. I'll pursue this. Quick update. Um. I had planned on using those plastic mirror holders to hold the, the LCD, but I pick, I went to Ace Hardware and picked up these metal things, they're 40 cents each. I may have to bend them because they're too high, but um, they're going to be a lot stronger. But I, am, I, I do have a reputation for over-engineering things, but this is my current plan. And these are the inserts, picked up a bunch of those uh, to put into the wood. So we'll see how we go. So while I'm thinking about the, the speaker panel, the other part of the back box is mounting the, 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 the monitor. So I need you to use your imagination. Uh, this pad of paper is the TV that's upside down. What I'm thinking is running a piece of wood across the back. This is one by four. I think it'd probably be a one by six. Um, Versa mount screws, one, two, three, four, straight through to the TV. This length of the piece of wood, obviously the length of the back box. These pieces of cardboard uh, represent uh, brackets, adjustable brackets, because I, I want to be able to move them backwards and forwards a little bit. This box here, imagine it's the side of the bat box. So when this gets tilted up, okay, the TV's fallen off. So it's going to screw there. Uh, you can go backwards and forwards a little bit, which I, I think is important to get it flush against the, the trans light. So it's going to go backwards and forwards a little bit. So in order to screw into the side of the panel, I'm looking at these things. So I'm thinking of just putting these um, two on each side, so there'll be four in total. Uh, they're locking threads uh, inserts. So they'll actually go into the wood, and then I could screw pan head screws into these. So these are embedded into the wood on the side to uh, hold up the TV. I think they'll be plenty strong enough. Um, that's That's the plan. Uh, ideally, I would just put in screws into the wood, but that, that doesn't allow for much movement and also the wood. I think this would be a lot more secure. Um, so I'm going to give this a go and we'll see how we